what gives you better growth during veg, 18 or 24 hours of life? Let's talk about it in today's video. But before we do, you can't have that stank dank smell coming right out your grow. You gotta take care of that. Go to acinfinity.com. You can pick up a carbon filter for them or their fan and filter combos and really pimp out your grow, guys. When you get the combo kit, and for, I forgot to say, they're the quietest fans I have ever ran. You could sit there and actually do a podcast with this thing taking care of business. There we go with their controller. This controls your complete environmental control. Great setup, 10 speed fans, acinfinity.com, coupon code dude grows. Take care of all that odor in your grow. Back to the show. All right, let's do this, man. Scotty, I know if I get 24 hours of light, I'm not a happy camper. Plants can take 24 hours of light, but they do need to sleep, man. They do different things. So what the plant makes sugar in its leaves, right? And then it mm -hmm. distributes that sugar. It goes back down by the, uh, the well, lows down and the xylem goes up. So it's constantly doing that during the day, both ways. Uh, when you shut the lights off at night, I can take all that energy and just use it to push the sugars that it made down into the root system for some storage. So there's definitely different stuff going on at night. Technically, we're dealing with a C3 plant. Is that what we have? Here? <laughs> yeah, no, a C3 plant is just it means it can photosynthesize uh, and move those sugars at the same time. Some things like corn or, you know, like those, like grass and stuff like that. Uh, they can't do that at the same time. So that's why cannabis doesn't technically need a night period or a dark period because uh, it is able to move sugars in both directions uh, while photosynthesizing. Now, I know why growers, you know, they want to run 24, some of them, because they're thinking it's more power, more light, more photosynthesis. Sure synthesis more things going on with the plant quicker growth hey but that's only up to a point we talk about dli there's only a certain amount of light that the plant can absorb during the day so if 18 hours a day you're giving that plant the maximum amount that it can absorb you're just wasting money and energy running it for 24 hours a day and I see what I believe plants signaling this. Sometimes we're just growers in real GDC. We've had the discussion where at a certain point in their light cycle, the plants are all healthy and happy. But at, let's say, the 15th and a half hour, the leaves start to go down like they're not praying anymore. And that's a signal, in my opinion, the plants are telling you, hey, pretty good today. We've got our DLI. Now, that could sure. be pro science, but sure. I think plants signaling and showing us. So I'm I'm. I'm not for it. I prefer dark time. Why I prefer dark, dark time one, I like to see the plants sleep. I feel bad for them when they don't get to sleep. Also, I don't feel like that is a good spend on power. Uh, maybe, you know, whatever's running more. We have more than just the lights running. When the lights on, it could be AC, could be yep. humidifier, dehumidifier, all that stuff. So I don't like wasting that power either. Yeah, I just like letting the plant focus. Uh, none of these plants uh, were, you know, were developed or evolved. Uh, with 24 hours of sun, or at least uh, not the not the strains that we're growing. Uh, so yeah, I'd rather just work naturally within the plant's uh, natural metabolism. And it's you know the plant can survive with 24 hours of light, but why not give it a little bit of rest period? We know it's different thing; it's doing different things. We know that it's pumping sugar down to the roots. Why not give it some time where it can do that uninterrupted? Yes, it's nice to see how they react to the light schedule. You know, if you look in your tent or grow room with the lights off, a lot of times the leaves are just like, huh, they're chilling. And even if you peek in before the lights come on, their memory, if you will, knows, hey, it's about to be sun up. Let's go. So I love to see sure. how the plant responds to light. Uh, hey, I will tell you, the only exception I have is clones, of course. Clones I keep on 24 hours a day because they don't have any roots to pump nutrients down to. Uh, so I I just need to keep them photosynthesizing. So it clones 24 hours a day. Oh, star, bro. I'm 18 still. I'm 18. Everything gets to sleep in dude's house. Uh, that's our, that's our two cents. Let us know if you run in 24. I want to hear your results though. I want to hear you. I want to see the white paper, man. What percentage more you got on a strain that you AB tested and why it's worth it. Leave us some comments below. Come on, you know you know it. If you like this video, you got to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Yes. Share this one with another grower you know. And check out the other couple of videos YouTube's recommended.